Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make your Xbox One controller work with your Windows PC. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to Xena Battery Life. They sent me these awesome rechargeable batteries that last five times longer than regular stock uh, uh, controller batteries. So thank you for that. You know, guys, I'm a heavy gamer and I play a lot of, uh, I mean, many hours, you know, on Xbox One and PS4 and these Xbox One extended battery really last much longer than the, um, ex than the stock original battery so I'll put the uh, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to order some for your Xbox One controller it also works with the Xbox One Elite controller now for the cable you can use any um, your macro USB cable it doesn't matter you can use one for your uh, you know from your Samsung LG Motorola uh, cell phone uh, charger that that's fine it would work or the stock one provided by Microsoft with the Xbox one control but a lot of people lose them and don't have them anymore so uh, make sure your battery is charged everything is connected turn on your um, Xbox one controller and then we're gonna plug it to your PC a laptop or desktop it doesn't matter as long as it has a USB port so um, as you can tell here with one hand doing everything and operating the camera of course so connecting the macro USB end on the uh, Xbox one controller and on the other end just a regular USB that will go into your PC laptop or PC desktop uh, once you plug it in you will feel uh, the Xbox one controller actually vibrating a little bit. It's normal. Okay, and then you're gonna see a little icon down below it starts to automatically install the driver um, If it's if you have a, a New version of Windows like 8 8.1 or Windows 10 you should see this automatically this window should be down below and it's gonna start automatically to install uh, the drivers from um, the internal base of uh, the, in the internal driver base of Windows. Now, if you have an older version of Windows like Windows 7 or Vista, then you have to follow this video until the end. I'm going to tell you what to do in order to make it work. But as far as Windows 8, 8.1, or 10 goes, you're done. Your controller should be ready and should be good to go. Now, for the older version of Windows, come down below, click on the folder. <coughs> um, click on a folder and um, locate uh, where it says on the left side this PC now in your computer might say my computer this computer is the same thing and go to properties click make a right click on it go to properties and then locate and see what kind of uh, version of Windows you have if it's Windows Vista 7 and then also uh, locate the system type see if it's a 64-bit 32-bit operating system which one do you have most people usually have 64-bit but hey um, you might have a 32-bit uh, so it's fine uh, now uh, what I want you to do is to download uh, either the 64-bit for your Windows 64-bit or the 32-bit driver for your Windows 32-bit uh, from the uh, description uh, section of this video I put two link for you just follow those links and download that and install it now once you install that I want you to come back to this PC or this computer and then go to manage make a right click and go to manage and here you should be into the computer management system computer management section yes and then you want to go click on device manager now in device manager in this computer that I'm showing you the Xbox one controller is recognized so you see there is is listed here as a device there is no question mark on it there is no uh, driver missing everything is cool here but in your computer it might say Xbox one controller or it might be some kind of controller with a question mark on it in that case of course you have to go and uh, install uh, the driver that you download so if you see that that uh, driver name if it says x64 that means it is for the 64 bit and if it says x686 uh, that means it's for the 32 bit so um, you don't need to download both of them just download the right one for your computer and install it and once you install the driver again go to this PC or this computer make a right, make a right click go to manage and pull out the device manager click on device manager and then find out if it, it was recognized this time if the question mark went away and once you install that it should automatically go away and your Xbox One controller should be recognized by Windows at this point you're ready to go and you're ready to play your games 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, it might be a little click for you, but it helps me a lot and it means a lot to me. I appreciate your support. Um, also, if you have any question about this procedure, make sure you leave a comment in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them and find a solution for you. Um, I'll, I'm gonna also make sure that the driver links uh, here are live and updated to the latest update available for the Xbox One controller. Thanks for watching. It was Sammy310. I'll see you next time.